Bayer believes it's a win-win. The city of Omaha expands its property tax base. Residents get better police protection and improved roads. The mayor unveiled her plan late this afternoon, and tonight we have reaction. Reporter Kelly Bartnick is live with new information. Kelly? Jenny, we went to several of the neighborhoods in the mayor's proposal tonight. Most people are just learning about this. They're also focused on the promise that their property taxes could go down. Also, the extra money collected will mean more police officers, which puts the city closer to a police milestone, too. They know if they live in an SID that eventually they probably will be eventually annexed. These Elkhorn neighborhoods are next. The mayor's plan would add more than 780 acres to Omaha's footprint. For the 6,000 residents in seven SIDs, that means city services like garbage and police. Today, Mayor Stothard said it also means lower taxes. On average, about $460 per $100,000 assessment. The land is about half of what Omaha took in last year. We didn't uh, purposely try this year to make it a smaller package. We just wanted to make sure we met our goals and that it was net positive. The annexation means Omaha's value goes up by about $450 million. Mayor Stothard says property taxes will allow for more police officers, which is a priority, and for increased road work. The extra revenue means nine more officers next year, bringing the total number of officers to an all-time high of 860. We have plans in place for her future growth, always have, at what level, what size the police department needs to be to police the city and our population. Earlier this spring, Police Chief Todd Schmatterer told us that. He has his eye on a 5th precinct as the city expands, but that may take some time. Even with the historic high, the city is at least 20 officers short. A new precinct and redistricting would follow. Once we hit that population number and have those authorized strength numbers to fill that 5th precinct, it makes absolute sense. That means growth in neighborhoods like these will not stop in the coming years. The city council could vote on the mayor's annexation package in August. Many residents, as we mentioned, just heard about this plan tonight, but the city tells us letters to homeowners are being mailed out this week. There is also an open house next Wednesday night in Elkhorn for people who want to learn more. That information is on KMTV.com. In the studio tonight, Kelly Bartnick, Action 3 News.